now that the heat gun is cooled off, uh, there's a process of cooling it down. I left it during the time that the heat gun's cooled off. It takes about a minute and a half for the heat gun to shut off. I've left it right at the 350 simply because you've brought the chips up higher than what the board is at. And so leaving the good heat there allows these to cool down slowly. About every 10 minutes, knock it down in about 10-15 minutes. Uh, well, just a couple minutes there, I'm going to take it down to 250. And I'll leave it sit there until about 15 minutes. And then I'll take it down to warm for another 15, 20 minutes. It doesn't matter. As long as it's a nice, long cool up here. Once it gets down to warm, you know, the, the chips are only like 65 degrees. You can shut it off and just let it cool because the hot plate will stay warm for a little bit longer. But I will bring you back on when I am ready to put the compound on and put it together and CC pipe it up. Good success using this. I've used videos from another guy on uh, YouTube. Uh, I have the name in, at the end credits here. But he had a heat gun technique using the, the Harbor Freight gun. And he was heating two passes on either side. And, and now he's using an actual reflow station. But this is a combination of what he did and some stuff that I found out while using the hot plates, which is a poor man's flow station. Alright, it's been 40, it's been over an hour since he started the process. It's back off the board. He's still, she's at room temperature now, nice and warm. Well, for room temperature, I guess. Now we're going to put the sink compound on. What you want to use is Arctic Silver. Five. I don't care about the star paste or any other stinking garbage that's out there. This stuff works the greatest. You can get a, a tube this big, 12 gram tube. It's going to cost you close to 20 bucks no matter where you look, $18 or whatever. Buy it, you can do a bunch of them with it. And then you need your applicator, which is an old credit card. Or even a new one. It's about the only good use for a credit card. But let's do this. This tube's almost gone, so I brought my new one down too. Put a nice coat on there. And then you're going to want to take an evenly. Nice thin coat. You should have enough to start on the other one. You put it on good enough. Put more on here. Stuff's like peanut butter. It almost. Yeah. And that ends that one. Farewell. Take a squeeze out the sides and just keep spreading it. Almost like the word of the day. Spread it. Okay, and there we be. Add a little extra, just wipe it off. Yeah, let's get her together. All right, I have a partial assembled. I have it hooked up to my cables here. I'm going to turn it on. I think a lot of guys that will test this out before they show a video just so they don't go, oh, well, they usually work. And we shall find out if that's the case here. Whereas, well, they usually boot up. Or, see, it works. Aren't you glad you watched this video? I wasted all your time. And power on. And power on.
And there she is.